Okay, this is the tutorial for Pomp and Circumstance for viola. In the very first measure, you will not play. You see some cue notes. It says trumpet, but it's actually gonna be cello and bass. They'll play a little intro. intro. One, two, and a three, four, and then you come in at measure one. All of these notes should be very separate, but you have to be careful to use long bows, really count and keep those pauses so that we don't rush. One, two. Take your time, listen to the melody. Um, first Islands are always carrying the melody so you can follow along with them to make sure we're not rushing. We are in the key of C major here at the beginning, so make sure we are playing low two on A, low two on D. You do have a couple of accidentals thrown in. If you look at the fourth measure uh, after rehearsal one, you have an F sharp, so make sure we get that high three stretched up on our C string. Um, you have the same note repeating again, four measures after rehearsal two. Um, and then at rehearsal three, you're gonna see in front of that first note an F that they wrote a natural in it. It's as it is in the key center. It's just a reminder because the last time you played an F, it was sharp. We have the first ending right there um, after rehearsal three, where we will go back to one. The second time when we're repeating, we'll take the second ending and then we'll start at four. Four starts a new theme, a new melody. Um, so your pattern now changes from steady quarter notes to the quarters with eighth notes. So again, keep these still separate, but steady. One, two, three, four. Cool, more bow on the quarter so you make sure you're not scrunching it and rushing. Um, when we get to measure six, also sorry, but before rehearsal six, be careful when your patterns change and you have those half notes that you're counting all the way through because it's so different from the pattern you just played. <laughs> There's no repeat here. We go right on to rehearsal six. At rehearsal six, what you need to pay attention to is the key change. We are now in G major. So any Fs you come up to are now automatically sharp. So again, the style is re, um, repeating what we did back at the beginning. Very separate, steady quarter notes. You guys are keeping that march going. <laughs> continues all the way through this section. After rehearsal eight, you're going to see a first ending. We will only play the first ending. The second ending is scratched out because we never go for it. In the first ending, you'll play the first measure as it's written. And then the second measure, you will just see a dotted half note written with whatever note you're assigned, which for you is a B. So you'll hold that B for three beats, lift, and then we'll go back to rehearsal one so that we can continue repeating this as they're all getting their diplomas. So I'm going to start from rehearsal eight, starting with a C natural, a low two. Make sure that you go through this entire piece, mark low twos, high twos where needed so you don't forget. to one. 